Good morning, Pirates. Today is Thursday, March 3rd. Happy National World Wildlife Day and welcome to the morning show. First, however, please stand for the recitation of the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I salute the flag of the state of New Mexico, the Zia symbol of perfect friendship among united cultures. Hello everyone, I'm Ayesha Yaga and welcome to The Morning Show. As you can see, we have a special guest here today, Kylie Nodman, here to tell us a bit about this year's softball season. So Kylie, I heard you guys already had your first um, first games, how were they? Oh, our first game, it was pretty good, um, though we lost, but just by one point. And the second game, we we kind of bombed it from there, but it's a young team, so we're still developing, and I'm pretty sure we learned from our errors. Yeah, who'd you guys play against? We played against Rio Grande High School. Mm, not too bad. Yeah. Um, how do you think this season's gonna go, like overall? Now that you have like a team that's like together, I think it's gonna be a really good season because these girls. They're young, they're all young, and they're really outgoing. You know, we all talk to one another, and it's just great. It's just great vibes, all of us together. And the communication is just, it's there on and off the field. And, you know, it's its better to have the communication all there as the past years. With the past girls, we weren't really as, as a team as we are now. And I'm, I'm really hopeful for that as we will become one as we go into the season. Yeah, that's good. Yes. <laughs> um, how do you feel about it being your like last year of softball? Oh gosh, I'm, I'm pretty sad. You know, I always played, I always played my whole life and for this, you know, to be my last season, it's pretty sad, but I'm going to enjoy it every, every bit of it, you know, it's going to be fun, especially because I get to play with my girlfriend, Jesslyn Batista. <laughs> You know, we're a good, we're a good duo, duo, and um, uh, she's she's actually a new pitcher, and I'm actually a new catcher. So the chemistry right there is, it's right there. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna yeah, be good. Yeah, it'll be easier. Yes. <laughs> you guys know the communication already. Yes, we do. That's good. All right, well, thank you, Kylie, mm -hmm. for coming on the show yes, with me. Yes, thank you for having me. <laughs> well, seniors, it's almost that time for us to be out of here. I know most of us are excited and kind of nervous. Anyways, there's a new feature called Senior Spotlight where we catch up with seniors and ask them questions. So let's check it out. Welcome back to Senior Spotlight. I'm Michael Pettis, and today we have our guest, Nick Montoya. And today I will be asking him a series of questions concerning his years in high school. So my first question is, what would be your best memory out of the four years you've been here? Uh, it'd probably be like uh, football during homecoming week or powder puff, even though there's only a couple of us that went out to cheer. It was definitely very fun. It was a good experience to remember for sure. So my next question is, as a senior, what advice could you give to underclassmen? Uh, my advice to the underclassmen would be just to not slack off on your grades. Or, and like, don't let yourself get behind because it's hard to come back from that. Work can definitely bog you down, so you got to stay up on it. And yeah, that's all we have for today. Thank you for watching. <laughs>
Well, if I wasn't teaching, I'd probably still be back in uh, being a reporter for newspapers. I always loved that. And I always um, enjoyed writing and I still do. And that's why one reason I really like the journalism class and to teach English, because you're always dealing with writing, even assignments. And um, so I would probably be a reporter. Okay. And I'd probably still be in Virginia if that had happened. Yeah. Okay. Um, what is your favorite thing about teaching? My favorite thing about teaching is definitely 100% the kids. Yeah. I love the students. And I know a lot of students are struggling because it's been a strange time in our educational history with the virtual uh, classrooms and all. And I know it's been difficult for a lot of them. And I kind of, uh, I've always been kind of an underdog in, in the kids who struggle. I really want to reach out to them and help them. But I appreciate all my students, including yourself, Mariah. Oh, You're a you. good student. <laughs> thank you. Um, who is your favorite MLB team and why? Uh, my favorite team is the Boston Red Sox. When I was a little kid, I had my heart broken because our Major League Baseball team in Washington, D.C., went they were the Washington Senators. They moved to Texas and became the Texas Rangers. So we didn't have a team anymore. And my dad had a business trip up in Boston, and he came back with a souvenir book for me, mm -hmm. a book about the Red Sox, and that's how I became a Red Sox fan. Special birthday shout out to Kinlan Carter, Annalicia Jim, Myron Johnson, Raylan Macias, Sage Pino, and Francisco Salvador. Happy birthday! I hope you have a magnificent day. I should probably For lunch today, we will be having pulled pork sandwiches, French fries, coleslaw, ranch cup, and mandarin oranges. Tomorrow's breakfast will be jumpstart cereal, fresh fruit, and milk. The GHS daily announcements are brought to you by Angry Jack Productions and the students of the broadcasting classes. And as always, we are GHS for success.